How's it going, goons? It is week two, and the first game now for Washington State in this two-team final dynasty and NCAA football 14. In the last episode, we went through and watched uh, Willie Met and the Oregon State Beavers get obliterated by San Diego State. It was a rough one, 49 to six. We got obliterated, and as the headline says, it truly was a horrendous effort. So we're going to finish out this second week in our first season with both teams with Paul Luce in a game where we will be playing at home against the Montana Grizzlies. I think it's the Grizzlies. I know the logo says Grizz, but I'm pretty sure what it is. And we're getting called a bottom dweller. And, you know, I I, I got to respect it. I agree we are a bottom dweller. But you got to think in context, that's really rude. We are like less than a year removed from playing in serious Pac-12 football. And now they're calling us bottom dollars just because we were left behind. We are the worst overall team, but we are the favored one in this game. Again, remember, we are running the air raid offense here with Washington State. So who knows what kind of quarterback accuracy we're going to see today. Recruiting wise, we have half a million players visiting this week. So that's going to be good. But let's just take a look to see kind of where we're standing with some of these good players, if there's anybody that we can even fight with. And we do have the lead with the 77 overall Zach Aaron. Uh, that could be incredible. The number 95 tackle in the country in a three star. Picking up a three star in general is going to be very big for us. So any of those that we could get a three star wide receiver would be absolutely massive for this team. So this is just honestly a pretty good start to the season as far as i'm concerned we're going to continue to do some scouting this week just to see what we can find uh there's obviously going to be a few guys that probably come off the board but we just need to make sure that what we are looking at still makes sense although like i've said before at the end of the day to me it does not really matter what we're picking up because anybody that we get any single recruit that we get that is not a walk-on is going to be impressive for us so we're just going to continue to go through. We'll spend all the rest of our points this week kind of scouting, guys, just to see where we're at. And, uh, man, uh, I, I'm feeling okay, but I'm still also a little bit worried. Uh, we'll dump the rest of the points here into Emmanuel Cornelius. And any one of these guys that goes up is good. There is a lot of wide receivers on this board. But again, when, when we're trying to replace every wide receiver that we have, uh, we can't have too many. So like I said, this episode is going to be a short one as we get caught up with Washington State. Next episode, we will start having two games per episode. But for now, because of the intro in the last episode, I didn't want to run, you know, hour and a half video. So we're going to keep it short on this one. And then in episode three, we'll start going crazy with two games per video. So our first look here at uh, Washington State's overall, they are also a 39. And we're getting the shaky bars against a 63 overall Montana. That is brutal. So here we are, Martin Stadium in Pullman, trying to get ready for this to work out, see what the offense can do, see what the defense can do. We win the toss and we're gonna elect to kick. Last time we elected to receive and it didn't work so well for us. There is a five mile per hour, six mile per hour headwind here as Haberer, the fullback, boots us off, gets this season underway. And man, if we thought that Oregon State was bad, I'm a little bit worried that uh, Washington State could be a little bit worse. So as the defense comes out onto the field for the first time we will see what we can do remember the three linebackers are kind of the focal point of this defense along with the full or the free safety and oh my gosh a stop for a loss immediately and the linebackers get involved we're gonna sit on colon here the middle linebacker for a little bit on the second 11 expecting montana to pass they are gonna step back quarterback stepping up he's trying to scramble and he takes a big shot at the line of scrimmage it's third and 11. So it's good to know that the quarterback is going to scramble, but it's also good to know that we have a little bit of coverage here. It is an FCS team that we are favored to win in this game, but things are looking good. And a, no, not a sack. Cleveland sheds a tackler, then gets sacked. It's a loss of 11, and Washington State's defense is looking stout today. So on fourth and 21, we're going to force the three and out, and we will get the ball. Deciding to kick there was a genius idea. Maybe a decent chance for a return here, too. We'll see what Bailey can do, and uh, he gets hit immediately. Almost had the blockers, almost had a little bit of space. But uh, Paul Luce getting ready to send the offense out on the field for the first time. So the air raid taking control on this one. We'll see what Xavier Baker can do as over the middle. It's a little bit of a miscommunication there. Can't be too mad about that. Again, you got to remember, these are walk-ons. They've only had probably since the spring to start practicing stuff uh, 
That's a little inexcusable, though. Bad route, maybe, for me to throw, but Baker just missed him by a mile. And it's hard to have an air raid when your bombs are missing the target. So third and 10. We still are winning the field position battle, which could be huge, but we're going to have to step up. Baker outside the pocket, waiting for it, waiting for it. Can we find somebody wise open? We find Myers, and that looked like a face mask at the end of the play, but they're not going to call it. Still a first down in 18 yards. Baker took a little bit of a shot, and it was an ugly throw, but it's moving the sticks. So Baker, with a little bit of confidence, he's already breathing heavy. He's only run like twice. But we're going to have him chuck one up, a little four verts, and he's got the tight end. Miller comes down with it. Almost broke the tackle, but just like that, Josh Miller's got 21 yards. The passing attack starting to work as maybe Baker's shaking off the pregame jitters. It is a pretty empty crowd today, but, uh, you know, all these fans out here in Pullman, they got to be excited about what they're seeing so far today. A player from Montana is out injured for the moment, so that could be useful for us. Second and eight. We're going to go with a little fullback screen. Myers comes down with it. He's got a convoy. Stays on his feet inside the red zone, or inside the 10, I should say. It's 11 yards, and it's a first and goal. Baker made a couple of awful throws early, but he's starting to get things in a groove. And now let's see if we can find the end zone for the first time in the series. And it's... That should have been picked off. That was a horrible throw from me. Second and goal. We're going to try to run it here with the option. We'll see what we can do. Trying to get some positive yards. Baker... Immediately tackled. Too risky to pitch it there. It's a loss of two, and it's third and goal. Well, let's see if anything can happen on this third down. We will settle for a field goal if we don't get it, because even the chance at a win would be huge. Tossing it up, and it's picked off. Oh, I kind of lobbed it up there. We're not going to come away with points. We have them in a decent spot if the defense comes out strong, though. That's just a little bit of a mistake that you don't want to see on this first down. I'm expecting a run. We're going to bring pressure. They are going to hand it off. We hit him in the backfield, but he gets to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of a couple of inches, but not much more. Could you imagine if the first points that we score with this team that we expected to have an awful defense, if it was a safety? Not expecting it here. Oh, he gets free. The blocking is great. And Fentress, there he is, the star player on the defense, shutting that one down. It's third and four, still inside their own 10. And we're going to hop on with the other safety, McCarthy, here on this third down. Kind of expecting a pass. They will go to the air. It's a slip screen. Uh, we are in no position to stop it. The diving tackle misses. He stepped out of bounds just after getting the first down. That one hurts. I thought that we had it stopped. It's not the case. First and 10. Tight end in motion. Minute and 37 left in this first quarter. Taking their time. And nothing doing. It's just a bad pass. Well, so far, if this is a battle of the quarterbacks, we are definitely coming out on top. Second and 10 now. Expecting a pass. They're going to hand it off, though. Out towards the edge. It's Chapel getting the tackle. There's a flag down, though. Hopefully, this is not against us. A clipping. Ooh, this is going to be a tough decision. What do we do here? Do we take the second and 17 on their own seven or the third and 12 on their own 12? I think we got to go with the third down. I know it's losing five yards, but it's an extra down. And this will give the defense a chance maybe to get off the field. Third down. All the time in the world for the quarterback. And he's going to throw Pickett's ball with the interception. An accidental hurdle, but he's going to take it into the end zone. A pick six. Our first touchdown in the series. Our first touchdown with Washington State. And it's done by the defense. A mistake of a throw. His ball grabbed it. And even with the mistake hurdle, he has the speed to get into the end zone. So who among you thought that it was going to be a defensive powerhouse we were fielding here at Washington State on this first down to run up the middle? Uh, pretty good pickup then. That's a face mask at the end. Oh, that was, that was disastrous after lauding the defense. Oh! It should be offsetting penalties because we absolutely face mask it, but it's a clipping, so it'll send him back. That is absolutely huge as there's another Montana player out with a minor injury, so these guys are getting battered and bruised we're on board with ball here first down they're gonna hand it off again good run to the outside the wide receiver blocking is solid and i just missed a big tackle smith needs to have a big hit here he does bring him down but that is a huge 44 yard pickup for the grizz i guess it makes sense that our rush defense is the lacking part of the defense we came out expecting to be better with the pass d and it's so far been that way hit three yards on the toss 
Now we just need to be careful. If we can prevent a touchdown here, that's huge. The offense has barely even seen the field in this one. A keeper on the option there for the quarterback. He's got blocking and he is gone. Eric Cleveland, great decision. Yeah, has some good blocks. Makes it a couple of guys miss. And he's in for a touchdown to tie this one up. So Wazoo, uh, the defense has accounted for all the points. They've picked up a touchdown. They've allowed a touchdown. So we'll see if the offense can do something to help out. We're bringing this one out with Peterson. There's a flag down. Man, this is a highly penalized game. And it's another clipping. This one's going to be on us, though. That one was on our star player, the free safety Avery Fentress. So that's a bit of a bummer. First down here from the 12-yard line, maybe the 13. We'll see how they spot it. Five seconds left to go in this uh, quarter. Uh, I'm kind of dumping one off, and that was... Uh, I threw that too late. I got distracted. So at the end of one, tied up here, and it's looking like we actually got a ball game on our hands. No pun intended with Ball being the one guy who has scored a touchdown. We are going to give it to Hall now, though, on a counter. Try to get us some positive yards for maybe a good chance at third down, and oh! Cameron Hall got crunched there, but he picked up six in the process. He was one close block away from picking up a ton of yards. Well, let's see. What can you do, Xavier? Trying to pass it on third and nine. We'll see if anybody gets open. Why is there? And it's a bad throw. Fourth down. We got to punt this one away. We are too deep in our own territory. So it's Haberer out to let his frustrations out on the ball here. Fullback punts it away. They are going to be able to field it on the run. And it's great field position for Montana on this drive. We had all of the momentum in this game, and it was lost very quickly. First and 10, trying to bring some pressure. Nothing getting to the quarterback. He does just miss his throw. So he's not a great passing quarterback, which is good news for us. But it doesn't mean these guys aren't going to do some damage. Expecting a run on this second down. They do step back, looking to throw. Quarterback's taking off scrambling. Can we get there with Colin? He does pull him down. Oh, that is a clutch tackle. We needed that. Third and two. These guys have only converted one third down so far in the game. Let's we'll see what we can do. Trying to stop this one. Quarterback gets it off on the screen. And they just get the first down. I just have not been paying enough attention on these uh, screen plays to see who's going where. As quarterback has time, throws it up. It's a man wide open. He catches it, takes his shot. But Ben Carter holds on through the contact. So as the Grizz air it out, we're getting big sky right now. First and goal. Trying to prevent anything bad from happening. Oh, that is a huge break. A false start from the offensive line. Put him pack outside the five. Maybe that'll give us a chance here to do something. I don't even know what the down and distance is. The score bug is glitched. Clements with a big hit. Man, our linebackers are making the difference so far in this game. Just going to be rushing three. And I'm going to hop on board with a defensive lineman here. See if we can make a difference. That's a draw play. Stuffed at the goal line. Third and goal from the one. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect here. Kind of feeling a run out to the edge, if I'm being honest. And they are going to hand it off out there. Ball! He's got the pick six, and he's got the stuff to force the fourth down here. So we will hold these guys to a field goal on this one. And they're going to jump on again. False start. Lack of discipline at the moment. Don't expect to be able to do much here, but they have a chance of missing it. Oh, gosh, he pushed it, but just kept it inside the uprights. So Peterson is back to return. The score bug glitches, it seems like, uh, when there's a penalty, but that's fine. Peterson going to take this one. Going up the middle, nothing doing. 20 yards, decent field position, but 322 left in the half. We got to do something. It's a real shame we didn't take our field goal the first time out. That interception, I guess it did lead to a pick six for us, but definitely hurt in the long run. Baker's going to keep this one on the option. He breaks a tackle. Oh, man, I wanted him to get down, but he just kept getting hit. So he does pick up a first down, but we don't want our quarterback taking shots like that. Stepping back to throw on this one, first and 10. Looking for it. A over the middle is there. It's Miller. He's got it, and he's hold on to it near midfield. Five of 10. So far, passing at 50% for Baker. You like to see that. You don't love everything, as we're just going to dump it off to the running back who breaks a tackle. Get some positive yards. We're going to go in the hurry up real quick. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try a play action. They're not really bringing a lot of pressure. Waiting for it. X over the middle was coming open, but we're lucky that's just incomplete. And Baker is not in right now. Ross is in the backup, is in at QB, as we're trying to throw a little mid-screen. And we'll see what Peterson can do. Waiting for it. 
He gets the catch. He's got some blockers in front of him. And Peterson is off to the races. The 20, the 10, the 5 into the end zone. A 48-yard touchdown reception. The biggest play of the series so far. Kevin Ross comes in, maybe trying to make a name for himself as the quarterback. I mean, sure, it wasn't really his work, but great blocking downfield. And just that little bit of speed gets us the lead here near the end of the first half. So with where we're at, defense just needs to hold, expecting a lot of passing here in this late stage. They are going to hand it off a little draw, and now they've got the good blocking. Fentress does get the tackle, but uh, not before we gave up a huge chunk of yards. By the way, if my nose sounds a little stuffy, it's because it is. The allergies have just been obliterating me out here in Oregon recently, and today is just extra rough, but we got to record no matter how bad we're feeling. <laughs> As we're giving up 18 yards on the ground. Oh my gosh, our ground game is awful. Baker has a sprained wrist, and he is out for the game. So we are a, a starting quarterback down on this one on an air raid team. Usually that's not good news, but we do have the lead. It's just not going to be tough, or it's not going to be easy. Again, we see an instance where the linebackers are able to stay, step up and make a play. See what we can do here. Ball, second and six. Quarterback has a man open. No, he doesn't go to him, and he finds another one. Andy Langford on that little curl route just has enough space. So both quarterbacks with an interception, but theirs seems to be doing a little bit better here. First and 10, trying to stop them. They are going to go with an option, and oh, terrible decision that by time by Cleveland. They're going to lose five with the clock running. Gosh, man, they have another guy out for 10 weeks with a strained back. It is just a blood bowl here today. Second and 15, clock moving. We're taking a timeout. If we get the stop, the quarterback scramble and gets sacked. That's a loss of four, and we do take that first timeout. So now we know, third and 19, just don't give up anything stupid. They're probably going to try to pass here. We'll see what we can do to cover this. It's going to be a slip screen. We haven't defended these great so far. Good cut inside from the running back, but it's not enough, and we take the second time out. Field goal attempt here for Montana. It wasn't a great attempt the first time, but he still made it through on this one. Just squeaks it inside. And there's going to be down one with 54 seconds left in the half. Peterson has had a couple of decent looks at returns. Hasn't been able to make a, a great one stick yet. We are going to let him return this as well. Uh, that was an accidental spin move, and that was, that was pretty detrimental. Important to remember that we do get the ball to start the third quarter, so that is big for us. This guy's a lefty. I just got to get rid of it. Finding the running back hall. We're going to get out of bounds with a first down. So first down for us is, man, another guy. Cleveland out for the game. That's their quarterback, isn't it? That is brutal. We're going to toss one up. Miller can't quite get under it. I was just hoping for a little Hail Mary bomb there. It's college football, so those vertical routes are important, but uh, when you got a quarterback who's not great, maybe it doesn't work. This is not the play that I called. So we are going to audible out of that and look for something that we like. Uh, Rivers, I actually kind of like that route that he's on. Maybe we find him open. We'll see what the safety does. Safety he doesn't go with him, but I'm, uh, it's a lefty quarterback, man. It's killing me. So used to being able to roll out to the right when I need a little bit of extra time, but on a lefty, it's just not possible. So we might have had a chance for a big bomb there, but just a mistake, a mental error from me. This time waiting, A is coming to come open. It was Miller again, but we missed him. It wasn't going to be enough for the first down anyways. Now with half a minute left in this uh, first half, we're just going to boot it away. Honestly, I don't even mind if this one goes out of bounds. I don't want them getting a good return here. So we got to see how aggressive they're going to come out here. First and 10, 26 seconds and two timeouts. They could look to get the lead on this one. Oh, I got absolutely torched. Fentress can't make the tackle. McCarthy is there to bring him down. There's a flag. If we're lucky, this one will come back. Maybe another clipping. Oh my goodness. So this one doesn't fully save us, but it brings him down to a, a first and short on the 43. I think the refs might be trying to send a message in this one. I have never seen so many clipping calls in a game, let alone a one half. And, and there's another false start on this Montana offensive line. We are getting bailed out left and right. That is something else. Now a first and five on their side of the field. That is disastrous. If you were the Grizz trying to stick with a man here. Oh, I left him. I, that's on me. I didn't think he was going to throw to him. And then I left him wide open and the quarterback made the, the right read. I thought 82 was going to be the one getting the ball. Just a classic goon moment right there. It's 13 seconds left. They are still going for it. Maybe not. It's a draw ball. Can't get the tackle. This guy's still on his feet. Oh my gosh, they're in field goal range. 
We got to save our timeout because I feel like we could ice this kicker. He hasn't been the most surefire thing for these guys, but it's still looking a little rough. We need to stop him on this one. Eight seconds left. Quarterback scrambling. Ball. I'm going to try to strip it here. No. Quarterback shakes it off. Try to strip him again. There's another flag down, but we did burn all the clock. So unless it's an untimed down. What the hell is going on here? We're going to go ahead and just decline that because it's the end of the half. That's like seven clippings in one half. We have a one point lead here going into the locker room. 14, 13. We've got injuries all over the place. This is chaos in the Palouse. On top of all that, we get the ball here to start it. I'm not even going to bother returning that one. Our returns have not been good enough. Let's just take the good field position. Well, we're going to try to run, but I'm a little bit worried we could get hit with a, a clipping call here. As the running back's going to get it. Hall can't make a man miss. Tried the spin. Maybe could have just tried to truck through him, but it's a loss of two. So second and 12 now. We need to find some luck with the quarterback. He's got Tuggle open, but Mo just uh, has the ball sail right over his head. It's really hard to be an air raid team when your quarterback can't seem to hit a single receiver. Uh, Trying to look. This is just forced. Oh my gosh, that one was getting bobbled around. Uh, one, how was that not picked? Two, how did we not grab it off the tip? I think with the quarterback injury, he's proven this lefty that he has no ability to get the ball downfield. As this one just, wow, fielded off the bounce by Clark. They are going to have great field position again. Well, let's, let's see what we can do. Something has got to give. The defense started so strong, got a little bit weak. Missed tackle there. Colin gets to him. We'll give, I'm fine giving up five there. That that could be worse. Problem is almost immediately they're in field goal range on every single one of these drives and it's really causing problems as they are five wide looking to pass. The quarterback could scramble. Oh my God. Oh, my coverage is abysmal. I am an absolute liability at the moment. Just absolutely broke my ankles. It's first and 10. They're going to run. Trying to bring some pressure. Myers gets in there. Looked like he had a stroke while he was hitting him, but hey, he made the tackle. You know, I don't necessarily think this is going to go well, but we're bringing pressure. Got to try to bring the blitz. They are running, and it's Ventress clogging the gap with a huge hit. Tattooed him on that one. There's still two of six on their third down conversions, and we'll see what we can do maybe to stop him this time. Not going to be a run. It's a screen, and uh, that, I think it was supposed to be a mid-screen, but nothing worked well there. It's a loss of one. We held him. So their backup quarterback has come in and he started four of four, but it's not enough on this time. We're going to hold them to a field goal attempt. They haven't been perfect on these. Well, they have been perfect. And they just haven't been the most perfect kicks, but every single time it has gone through and now we are down two points. So with the air raid offense not playing well with the backup quarterback today, we're just going to try a little toss here, see what we can do. Shift Miller over, get that extra block on the running side. He does pick up a block, and it's huge as Hall has a first down a little bit more. For us to get a toss play to actually work, that is impressive in my eyes. Good blocking works out well. We're going to step back. Ross has a touchdown on one of these mid-screens to the wide receiver, and Peterson is the man again as he picks up five. Not quite the same as having him go 40-plus yards for a touchdown, but it's positive yards through the air, a little bit of a confidence builder for Ross as we will look to have him pass. Running back was open. We just got to take off. This is a run. Then he fumbles it, and we lose it. This could be a scoop and score. Oh, gosh. That was... Uh, it's because I'm scrambling to the right. Look, he's looking backwards. He doesn't even know he's about to get slammed. My lack of uh, playing time recently is just rearing its ugly head right now. First down for the Grizz now in our territory. Quarterback gets hit as he throws. He fumbles it. And they, did we pick it up? No! Well, uh, how did we not come away with that football? We had like four guys just sitting right there. Oh, that is brutal. The strip sack could have been a scoop and score touchdown for the defense. Their second of the day, but nobody has the eyes or the hands to be able to pick that one up. This one a run. A huge run nonetheless. Their blocking from the wide receivers is phenomenal as Joel Page gets 15. Third and four. What a ballsy place to call the run, and it works out tremendously. We're going to be looking for another run. It's a play action, and the quarterback just kind of tossed it up and missed. Bit of no man's land right here. And uh, it's even more no man's land because that is uh, another false start. And so with that, it's now fourth and nine, and they have decided they are no longer in range, and they're going to go for it. 
see what we can do. Quarterback has been known to scramble in some of these spots. Guys maybe coming open. He had 28 coming free, but just missed him. Turnover on downs, defense holds. So we don't end up being too harmed by that fumble by Ross, which is absolutely massive. We're going to hand it off to Hall up the middle. Just get the drive started uh, on a good foot. Five yards right up the middle. You love to see it. We're going to start working a little bit more with the screen game here. We'll see. Are they going to cover it? No, they don't cover it well at all. Hall has some blockers in front of him. Cuts to the outside. Hall has plenty of space to run inside the red zone. Down to the 15, the 14 as he's forced out of bounds. The huge stiff arm to get that extra five yards. And just like that, a chance for us to take the lead back. So the screen game has been all that is working for us. And guess what? We're going right back to it. Little bit screen. Peterson comes down with it. And he's got daylight all the way to the end zone. Terry Peterson on that wide receiver mid screen has been phenomenal. Five passes completed now for the backup QB. He finally gets a touchdown. Ooh, that was a risky throw, but it works out. And we are back on top. And with the way this one's scored right now, we're going to go for two. Try to make it a six-point game as we're just going to scramble outside the pocket. Is anyone there? No. Uh, I could have maybe tossed one up. I thought about scrambling for a second. Just indecision cost me. Is Cal in their first game, maybe, with the ACC takes out Florida State? That's an impressive win for them. So it's 20-16. to 16. A bit of an odd score football-wise, but who knows? Maybe it'll go well for us. First and 10. It's an option. Quarterback keeping it for now. He's got, again, great blocking. Clemens can't... Oh, he can pull him down. I thought for sure he was missing that shoestring tackle. But we were just getting gashed over and over again on the run. So it's time to bring Ball. He's been the playmaker so far on defense. Uh, you know, it's going to be a false start, but it honestly could have been an offside on me neutral zone infraction something like that not only did they get uh me to jump but they accidentally got their man to jump as well so nothing that you really want to see wide open man and uh backup linebacker sonoga gets the tackle gives us a second and six to work with uh they're gonna go to the air and it's dropped oh he had his man open that was the completion he just couldn't hold on to it so we're gonna bring some pressure here see if we can do anything whatsoever I don't expect it, but we're rushing five. I know this quarterback has been prone to have some mistakes when he gets into those situations where he needs to get rid of it. And this one is a great throw, but he can't hold on to it at the line. Maybe he was a little bit worried about where he was stepping. And it's fourth and six. So the punt team gets to take the field. See what we can do. Bring Fentress back as an extra blocker because I want a good return here. And no, they're just going to boot this one out of bounds. Decent field position at about the 25 for us to work with. Well, this is a play that I feel like never works, but we're going to try it anyways because the screen game has been working well for us. A little bubble screen. And <laughs> I've never seen a screen uh, run that poorly. Let's just see what he can do with his legs, I guess. Ross has already fumbled, so maybe this is a mistake, but a little QB draw. Oh, oh, he almost snuck free. And with that, we are just going to let the rest of this third quarter come to a close here. Let's get into the fourth. We have the lead. Realistically, we want to kind of shrink this game down. Both sides have been playing okay at times and terrible at others, but hey, we're in this game. We have the lead and a chance to win. It's taking every little bit of willpower I have not to throw some sort of slip screen or mid screen. Instead, we are just going to let Ross take to the air. And over the middle, he finds Peterson and Terry has just been clutch receiving so far this game for us as we pick up the first down and keep the clock moving. These shortened game clocks in this dynasty are going to be huge when we have the lead in these fourth quarters. A lot easier to hold on to it. The counter hall, plenty of space, able to trip, trip and stumble his way forward, and he picks up 13 yards. All of a sudden, the offense with a little bit of momentum, and who knows, a touchdown here could be enough to just put this one out of reach. Mo Tuggle in motion, and I was looking for him over the middle, but I don't like it, and this one could be picked off. It's a horrible throw! Nowhere near the intended receiver, and just like that, it's our third turnover of the game. Oh, it looked like he was throwing it to the safety. That is worst case scenario. It's now Montana a chance to drive to take the lead. They will step back, look at the throw, the quarterback hit it, he's throwing. He drops it. It's a sack. Oh, they have been so lucky to pick these up. We are obliterating their quarterbacks, but just not able to get our hands on the football. You know, watching these plays, to me, they fully look like those are, you know, he, he threw that football. That was an incomplete pass. I'm not going to complain about the result, but that's just unfortunate for Montana is, oh, that's an injury. So that looked like the running back who went down. It's it's hard to tell, but 
We're going to bring some pressure on this third and 14. See if we can't force this quarterback into a situation. And Colin with the interception. We switched to him just at the right time. Not a chance for another pick six. But the linebackers just doing work. That is absolutely massive. Two interceptions by the linebackers in the game. And now we are knocking on the door of the red zone with a chance, says Ross. Man, oh, he almost had a chance at a decent read option there, but loses two yards. Big reminder here that Ross is not even our starting quarterback. I would be curious to see how this would be going with Xavier. Second and 12, looking to pass over the middle. It's Rivers. Good catch. Keep the clock moving and get close to a first down. And on third and four, I'm taking the ball out of Ross's hands. Hand it off to Hall, who gets us the first down and a little bit more. First and 10. Feels like they're bringing pressure. I'm looking for Mo Tuggle. Can he get to the corner of the... Oh, he dropped it! Oh, no, Mo! Well, instead of going with a little Mo Tuggle, we're going to go with a little less Tuggle for the rest of the game because that is inexcusable. That's a touchdown wiped off the board by his, his Butterfingers there. Myers, decent bit of running there. Makes it another third and manageable for us. And it's a risky spot to be calling this, but we're going to look for Hall here on a little slip screen. I know, classic. But if it works, it works. And Hall isn't going to get there. Fourth and two. Uh, we got to kick the field goal here. We got to make this a seven-point game. This is our first time we've had the opportunity for the fullback to kick a field goal in this one. And he's got it up, and it's good. Auburner looking good there. Oh, man, I'm feeling confident as Wyoming beats ULM. I don't think that matters at all in the grand scheme of things, but... Interesting. Good for Wyoming. So it's 23 to 16 now. 246 left in this game. Montana's going to be feeling the pressure. They're going to run it here. A little mid draw. And those have been working all too well. Our defensive line just isn't strong enough to shed those blocks on the run. Really, uh, Montana has a little bit to worry about with the clock, but not as much as you might expect. And oh my goodness. Bailed out once again. Another false start on this offensive line. Well, I'm still going to bring some pressure. We'll see how that works for us. Charles trying to get in there. Scorebug's a little bit glitched. I think that was about a second and five. And they pick up five, but not enough to get the first down. We're going to see pressure one more time from this defense here on third and one. Seeing if we can get in there. Quarterback hands it off. Woo! We were right there to stuff him fourth and four. That could be the ball game. Strained peck for another player with Montana. So they have just been getting decimated with injuries as the quarterback oh my gosh he was covered so well snuck free as the ball was in the air and just like that they stay alive on fourth down that is a massive conversion because if they don't convert that the game is over clark trying to get some pressure on the quarterback we drill him in the backfield they're not taking the time out though oh that is about as big as it could get there Let's see what we can do with mccarthy on second and 17 here to help cover this edge Clock's ticking. A minute and nine left. I don't know why they're not snapping it. Took a little bit of too much time off the clock there. Quarterback scrambling. And is he? Oh my gosh, he's weaving through everybody. He picked up the first down. So the Grizz just keep it moving. And just like that, it is first and 10. They're going to run it. Pick up a solid chunk of yards. They're finally taking a timeout. 49 seconds left. This one feels like it could be going overtime. Second down. They will go to the air. Quarterback feeling a little bit of pressure, has to get rid of it, and just can't find his man. Missed him on that one. And they are only 2 of 11 on their third downs today. So that is great news for us. See if we can jump this snap. They're going to run it. And those runs have just been devastating. Look at the blocking downfield. They miss a tackle, and it's off to the races. Oh, no. Absolutely devastating. It's 23 all. With 38 seconds left to play. I mean, we got to return this. It's at the six. Mo Tuggle. We said we didn't want no Mo of him. But he's coming out. He's trying to make up for him. Uh, the pro oh, no. There's a clipping. Oh, somebody please in the comments. Let me know how many clipping penalties have been called in this game. That is so devastating. This is the fullback turned kicker. Nick Hauber that gets called for it on that one. That puts us back at the 13-yard line. We need to get into field goal range to do anything. We lob this one up. Joseph comes down with it through the contact. Oh, man, that was a miracle. I don't even know how that was in the vicinity, let alone not picked off. I almost just lost the game on that one. First and 10, stepping back, looking for something. Miller, oh, there's the interception. I tried to lead him. It didn't work. That's game. Fourth turnover. I, I just forced it. 21 seconds, basically in field goal range for these guys. 
And an offense that has just been decimating us. They're going to put it on the ground. Clark can't get him. Had him wrapped up in the backfield and lost it. That's going to be game, I think. Montana is taking their timeouts. But, oh, we, we had the chance to stop him and we just didn't take advantage of it. Here's another run in the backfield. This time we do pull him down. I got to take the timeout myself. Every little run that we can get here to uh to hold these guys in the backfield is huge so no go pressure on the quarterback hits him as he's throwing and it's caught just inside oh man we almost get the sack he almost steps out gosh that is close though so with nine seconds they have a chance to punch this one in and guarantee the victory we're calling it a run we'll see what we can do here maybe we can stuff the gap they are going to step back to pass he throws it away Interesting decision making there. We have seen that uh, this quarterback has bit, so you know some butterfingers. As oh my gosh, there's a man wide open. Well, four seconds. I guess it's technically not over, but it might as well be. So four seconds. See what we can do here. Is we're gonna try something a little crazy? No, <laughs> I tried to pitch it. Nobody was there to pitch it to. Oh, he snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. And we're going to lose in devastating fashion at home in our first game of the season. It's an ESPN Classic game, but it's oh, it's just the worst way to lose. Such an unnecessary interception. We forced it. We could have just gone to overtime and fought our way back there. But oh, backup QB is not going to be a popular man on campus right now. We had some beautiful plays early. It looked like this was going to be a really strong game for us. And then it was just struggle city for the middle half of the game came out with a loss 30 to 23 as we will fall 0 and 1 to join the beavers in the losing column so at the end of it it's giving up 240 rushing yards and allowing four turnovers that ends up costing us that game we held even with them just so well there until the end it's just that touchdown so brutal that if we force an interception we you give me that back I think that we at least have a fighting chance to get into field goal range, but I mean, I'm going to be liable to throw a lot of interceptions the first couple of games here. We've got bad quarterbacks. We've got a bad player on the sticks. It's a recipe for disaster, really. For our players of the game, of course, it's Terry Peterson on the offense. Four receptions for 78 yards and two touchdowns. Of course, a lot of that's yards after catch on the screens, but that's a it's still good. And then you got Damian Vincent. You know, you had a lot of guys on defense to choose from. Damian Vincent, the right end, is the one that gets it. Two sacks, two forced fumbles. We had a couple of interceptions there. We had a pick six. All in all, the defense did okay for what we were giving them to work with. But it is a loss for us. It's a loss for Oregon State. So both teams looking a little bit worse. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say which team did bad or did worse than the other one. Washington State kept the game closer, but against a much worse opponent. And Oregon State just couldn't do anything. But again, against a much better opponent. So it's hard to know who it was that was truly the worst team. We'll go ahead and advance the week here. See if anything happens. See if maybe uh, there's a chance that somebody committed Washington State. Nothing great. We already had a guy commit to UNLV, so he's got to be gone. And hey, look, Tommy Akers, a quarterback, committing to the team. We will definitely be checking him out at the beginning of the next episode. Same with the free safety, Chris Goodman. 50 overall is not great, but I think he should be better than some of the players on the team. It'd be really embarrassing if we had to uh, cut him immediately. We do have some guys that are ready to visit for Oregon State, but no commits, but they also didn't have a huge visit. So we'll see what we can do as uh, we get a bunch of XP. I don't think either coach is lev leveling up there, but they're getting close and that's going to be huge. Whoever levels up first will, will make the difference. And at this point, it feels like it's Washington State that's getting there first. It is going to be a bye week for Wazoo next time around, but... Oregon State will travel on the road to Illinois, so it's going to be, again, a pretty difficult task for them to try to go up against that on the road. Well, we won't see them at home at Reeser for a while, but as long as it goes better than 49-6, to I, I would say that that's an improvement, but that's going to have to wait until the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, please, again, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and then down in the comments, I want to know who you guys think is going to become an elite coach first. Is it going to be Willie Met, or is it going to be Paul Luce? My money is on Paul, but I think that Willie has a better overall team to work with, just maybe a little bit harder of an offense to try to figure out. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.